Hello and welcome back to another episode of Xenonauts 2. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our blind-ish playthrough of this wonderful game. Time to commence the next tactical mission, second cleaner cell. And I personally don't like the cleaners, they are a bit stronger than the aliens. But I don't like them for that reason. I, I'm okay with them being stronger than the aliens. I actually don't like them because... They are typically coming in huge numbers and have ridiculous side constraints. And this one here will again be a, a timed mission where we're essentially going in and we'll have potentially like seven rounds in order to get uh, to the ultra boss of uh, all of them. And said ultra boss typically is well hidden somewhere. And that in itself creates uh, disturbance. So. I'm wondering, can we pick up something that is light and put it in the backpacks of our shield guys? Potentially not. And shields themselves weigh 50, right? Yeah. Impossible to have another shield, unfortunately. So we gotta make do with what we have, two shields. So far it was okay. But the enemies start to deal more damage and once the shields are broken the guys are having a bit more of a difficult time quantum teleportation we've long believed that the aliens are using some force, a form of faster than light drive although exact mechanism is unclear hyperdrive appears to work via the principles of quantum teleportation enemies um, are possessing ftl technology would explain much about the invasion furthermore would also explain why the origin of the strange quantum disturbance uh, that I have been using to track extraterrestrial activity. Whilst uh, the knowledge um, alone brings us no closer to, to discover the source, gaining access to the hyperdrive is good. Unfortunately, devices suddenly refusal to respond to our signals. Uh, this does not mean it is uninterested in, uninterested in our communication. However, given metanarchs themselves are bizarre creations of unknown processes, it's certainly plausible. They play a role in the hyperdrive system. Let's assign a new project. And there are a couple of options. Data of the Menarx finally allow us to identify the source of the alien invasion. So that would be plot uh, alignment, 240,000 more funding. All fine and dandy. But I think we're actually going to start with the uh, Mentark interrogation. And then I would love to go into the Dragonfly dropship. So that's good. But we've come here for a nice tactical battle. And a nice tactical battle you guys should get. So off we go right into the mission. All right, guess what? We have landed. Came out of it and it is yet again a tight mission. So checking. We only have seven turns in order to get this one here sorted out. First round, immediate two hits for a knockout. This is the end of the map, so uh, unlikely that we're going to see a lot more enemies. But quite likely that we're going to take some damage. Nope, can't hit him. That's unfortunate. All right, moving up. Good hit. And a kill. Very good. Damn it, so many angles for them to approach. And look at that, as if I would have smelled it out. Hmm. 
moves over here. Big fat grenade. Okay, that dealt a lot of damage. And that salvo sealed the deal. Okay, moving up further. If we go by the buildings, this building is the one that uh, the sector commander has been in the last time. Could put the snipers up here and up here. Well, it's good cover here, so that's not bad. All right, the G <coughs> moves up all the way to here. While well, Tony wants to make sure that this side here is covered. Smoke grenade. And we're, we're maybe smoking out the other side as well. Okay, so far we're doing well. Could have moved our shield a tiny bit further forward. Round number one. Decisive push. Two kills. Clear out uh, line of what the strategy is going to look like. Okay, so I think the enemy is done. Yep, the enemy is indeed done. Moves up. Moves up far further. Same over here. Starting to spot enemies. We're going to take that opening in a second. But before we do, let's remove cover. That's what our charges are here for. And move to the corner. Tony moves up. Great side here, but has to be careful, and I think we don't want to overstress it. There is no advantage at the moment to stand up there, which is the reason why we are continuing to stay down. All right, hunkering down just. Doing the Overwatch thing. The G moves up. Nothing inside at the moment. Opening the side of the building here. Going into cover again. Well done. That worked out well so far. We're going to take all of the openings and little bits of cover that we could get. Helios does exactly that. And listen, Shattered Realm moves forward. Hunger is down. Very good. We have a good opening here. I wonder, should we just smoke this one off? 
It's not a bad idea. It would help us a lot. Good. Off to the pistol for the G. And I think we're okay. So, it, there could be enemies coming through here, but we would uh, definitely have the better position for now. I want to push into here in the hopes of finding that sector leader. enemies are coming. Oh yeah, way more enemies are coming. But we are well prepared. I like our general position. Oh, we're not giving a fuck about the enemies pushing in. For starters, let's remove cover. Very nice. That didn't work out so well. Moving up again. Time for a beautiful position up here. That's a shot. Guy goes down. And Tony goes down as well. We're keeping an overwatch, so that is good. Out of curiosity. Yeah, throwing something through the window would be a bit more difficult, I get it. Okay, so that's one solid charger down. Now nah, we would be too far away. Would not work. Takes shot, takes another shot, and downs him. Very good. Remove cover. And I think the name of the game here is the G is going to help. But with his sniper rifle. There we go. Back to the pistol because we want uh, summer overwatch. Moves over here, opens the wall, is where we found that guy the last time. All right, moving up. More enemies. And there we go. Alright. Found the bad guy. Round number three only, I think. So we're actually doing really well for ourselves.
one more enemy here it's to be expected and one is just strolling around here gotta be careful not to be flanked Just so far we're doing really well taking away more of the inventory here Okay, well, the G takes out the sniper. And has hit him, but I'm not sure how much damage it dealt. As per the usual, these guys seem to be quite resistant. We need to deal with whatever is over here. Exactly. That is not acceptable to throw stuff at our friends. Okay, well... Oh no. Well, at least we did not get injured. Got a hundred percent shot there. And not a good shot yet there. Okay, we're just going to take this one. Takes him down. Moving back down. Needs to reload anyways. Same over here. Shadow Rel moves up. Reloads. Not in a perfect position yet. Eat this, sector. Yep, we successfully suppressed ourselves. That uh, was, um, yeah, something. Uh oh, uh oh. Through the shield, not good. The problem is always the amount of enemies, right? So if it just would be that stupid sector, could deal with him. Enders, what the fuck? You're, you're fleeing whilst you're bleeding. That is one of the most stupid ideas that I have heard in a while. It's okay that you're that you are taking cover, okay? There's nothing wrong with that. But boy, is it a bad idea to just run away like a headless chicken. Hmm. 
need to heal. We're essentially giving up our flank on this side. Try to kill him. One hit, but not enough. Going into cover. Reloads, pistol, one shot, no, wooden hit, so back down. Kill this guy, not even that, holy. We need to deal with him, we cannot not deal with him. Because elsewise he's going to have a solid flank on us. Nice hit. Very nice hit. One. And another one. The guy is still standing. What the? Yeah, Shattered Realm needs to turn around. And we're hunkering down. Can't just stand there. Nice little stun hit, I like it. Ollie's mesmerized, do we have anyone? No, I, we're out. But that guy is still standing. Took a lot of shots, we have one bad guy here. We have another bad guy there. <sighs> Round number five, that was. Now the Scion soldier has panicked, like a little bitch. <sighs> and we're seeing even more enemies coming in. The biggest problem is just the stream of enemies. Okay, listen. Shot. Enemy leader captured. We are now moving here. You are a fatty. Yeah, we need to run. Okay, so that was good. I would even say that was great. Not only good, that was great.
that was really, really, really well done. Nice little salvo. It's the guy where it hurts. Pistol shot, maybe? Yeah, quick shot. Better than nothing. Moving out, okay. Cool. Why, by the way, do you have a pistol and not a med kit? Oh my gosh, did I not equip you well? Alright. One more down. Tony does the up and down dance. And Anders has the privilege of already going into the dropship. So who else is not yet there? Delhi reloads pistol, and that's all he got for now. The G needs to Overwatch, and we need to run out of here. If we capture the leader, boy, that would be good. We know about one more enemy over here. Correction. We know about no further enemies. Now reinforcements are arriving. Not good. Yeah, we. This our idea is to make an exit. What What do you actually think we're doing? That is great smoke. Good for us to escape. Zoe begins to charge and leave. Natalia here begins to charge and leave. Aziza moves out. Shattered Realm, super fast movement. I like it. Petilius, almost equally fast movement, if not faster. And the G. Moving out. We're almost done. Why did I let Zoe stand up here? Oh, that was an oversight. into the chopper. I think that's it, right? Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Oh yeah, we captured the leader. That'll give us hopefully a bonus to the resistance cell research, but it will also give us a big fat sweet bonus uh, to uh, sector soldier research which means we get 
more um, to hit chance? No, more uh, damage, I think, against them. We can desperately uh, require more damage. I think we should research all of uh, the living specimen because that 15% damage bonus can be the difference between one shot or two shot or two shot and three shot. And that's quite important. So let's hope we can capture a few more. The problem with the pistols is we need to be that close and even then the chances aren't so great. So we got lucky with uh, essentially hitting a stun shot and then hitting another one and uh, got, uh, getting him down. So that was bad, but I think it's not the norm. So we'll capture a specimen as and when it is possible but we're not going to go out of our way and risk the life of our operators for it because the one thing that i learned by now is you really want to have more or less a stable team take as little damage as possible and then continue to accumulate these one two three four um, extra points per mission stat points because over time they are really really adding up and if you look at uh, soldiers like the G at the moment. I think he must have gotten by now plus 15 on all stats just for from his medals and his participation. All right, time for an after action report. What did we get? <coughs> Anders takes a brave 23 days. Uh, we got the Distinguished Service Medal. Soldiers will be granted the Distinguished Service Medal for completing 10 missions during their career. And not surprisingly, it's on the G because he does have not taken any damage. But Shattered Realm as well, which props to him. He took some damage, but he also never took that much damage. So he could always continue in the next mission. And yeah, these are these are all of the stats that you're getting on top. If you if you look at the individuals, they're actually uh, they're actually having quite a, quite a high uh, stat count. So the armor soldiers have 50 in every single uh, regard. And if you just look at uh, Dilly G, for instance, 70 to 80 accuracy even more and just looking at that comet experience is a large contributor so that accounts for the missions that they have uh, gotten through but then also medals awarded and even time units right a lot of comet experience uh, there bravery is going up slower which is why i'm looking for that the reflexes wow 23 just from combat experience and medals that's pretty, pretty damn impressive well done diddy the g good we got a new interrogation project if we so decided to do that cleaner network Gets developed further and further. We have one pistol, one laser pistol. Might get a second one. Just out of curiosity, do we need to sell stuff again? No, we're good in the storage capacity. We should get new funding. There we go. Look at that. Got a sweet, sweet two mil. Um, just, just because we did well. And so far, uh, besides Asia, we're actually doing really well. And even Asia, Asia is still fine. Like we have reduced the panic compared to what we wanted, uh, compared to what it was at the beginning. One more laser pistol. Do we need to build anything in the base is the name of the game we got big fat laser batteries down here which is good 
do we need more living uh, capacity? I don't know. Um, you tell me. I think an extra training center wouldn't hurt so that everybody is getting experience. Um, do we need an extra hanger? So far we're doing well. So far we're doing well. I wouldn't say we need an awful lot. Maybe one more laser battery. Just so that if and when we're attacked we can really defend ourselves. Let's see what we can build. So we got the, uh, the weapon upgrades, that's fine. Got enough armor for now. I mean a stun baton for melee combat. You know what, let's get two of them for our front line. And these generators would mean we're basically upgrading all of our generators. So, yeah, why not? Let's start doing that. And if we're still having a lot of funding available at the end of uh, the month, I would say we're building a new base somewhere here. Because Asia currently needs our help the most. Good. A living Metark is a surreal sight to behold. Commander subject remains entirely passive within its containment unit, hovering in place while endlessly scanning the surroundings. Nothing has changed. The creature first arrived. At no point it has shown any signs of anger, boredom, or discomfort. Approximately 30 seconds were simply returned to previous positions. Not behavior fully sentient life form. Indeed, the Minarchs are only encountered within in the confines of the UFO. I suspect they are powerful biological computers networked directly into the vessel. They are also formidable opponents on the battlefield. That I can definitely agree on. Specifically their damage is very high. Dexterous tentacles are also easily capable of generating enough force to break bones. Suspected uh, Menarchs uh, do indeed employ a miniaturized energy shield to protect uh, them. The detailed scans of the shield enveloped have revealed the full coverage is not uniform. A number of weak spots identified, hopefully boosting the damage for the soldiers. Okay, well, that's what we wanted to do in the first place. Now, interrogation of a Psyon specimen improves training rate and grants 15% bonus damage against them. We're definitely going to do that. And afterwards, Dragonfly Dropship, because I like my Dragonfly Dropship. Endgame progress 5%. Uh -huh. Okay. Stun Baton done. Off to the generator. So far we're doing quite well. I tell you what, can we build a new base? It must be on the main base. Now we got everything here for now. I'm just wondering if we can actually build another base. Construct new base. There we go. New Zealand would not like it. Uh, to be not part of it. But that's the biggest part of landmass we could get. 
So we'll call that base Asia Pacific. Asia Pacific is good. Good. Access lift. Um, I would like one, two, three hangars. Radars can be up here. We need three. Plus the access lift. Oh, I think that one is good. Going in with a hangar. Very good. Then we need gen uh, gens. Which we could put into the middle here. Oh, we're already out of funds. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, let's get a bit more funds. We're keeping all of that. Little bit more cleaner data. New. There are some more of the corpses. Look, that's pretty much as good as it gets for now. Around seventy four. Uh, we're oh four hundred for the for that thing. Well. We got a base with a lot of hangars in there. Might need to wait one more month. Ooh, terror mission. Stop your deal, A 30 panic level we cannot allow. Um, time should go into a terror mission one day only remaining. When we're there, it's potentially day. And I like it. We almost got the cleaner network progress done. Um, before we do anything, let's take a look at our soldiers, shall we? Because I think the Enders has taken a lot of damage. Yep. It's recovering, so we need a new shield. Could be Zero Chance, could be Felix Koch. All right, Felix, I'll give you a chance. I will give you a chance. And this time, let's not F it up. JP Pauly. Oh, this looks good. I like it. Felix. Don't let me down, buddy. We are giving you ample opportunities. He had that extra rifle. Not sure if I like the idea. I like the Stun Baton. For both of them. Because after they are done with the shields, that here yeah, only takes 25% of time units. And all you need to do is get up and close and personal and whiff them over their head. 
How much does the thing weigh? 12. Uh, it's quite... Quite heavy. Alright, Epithelius. We're good. See, Azizal would be one of uh, these people who is actually carrying an extra pistol because once the primary weapon is gone it isn't all that fun anymore remove that thank you add that thank you And we're good. So, sniper rifles. Here I was also thinking about pistols. Maybe need one additional pistol, to be honest. The G takes a laser pistol. Because this normal pistol stinks. It really is not good. Good, we have plenty of laser weapons. That's quote unquote our newest technology, so there isn't really that much we can do. What I noticed is <coughs> we have a lot of interesting projects that we could go through. No clue if we need another um, another five scientists just to research faster. One could argue 15 might actually be better because it then gets us to 200% research speed just cutting off a few more days right so I like the interrogations they are no-brainers in my perspective the dragonfly dropship <coughs> might be a good one as well because we can deploy more soldiers right then the new interceptors I don't know how much of an upgrade they are And then we do have UFO hull plating. Reinforce outer hulls of UFOs may allow us to build and improve armor. Maybe we're even starting with that, to be honest. Yeah, maybe we're just starting with that. I don't know. Um, I don't know. We most certainly need to capture more aliens. I've already figured that out. And we need to have a good defense in our base. We, I also figured that out already. Good, I think the main base actually works very well. I don't see a lot of issues here. Matter of fact, I think we do have phenomenal, uh, a phenomenal set of soldiers here. Maybe need an additional hangar. I don't know how well three aircrafts will do. Potentially we'll get the UFOs down even faster. So maybe we'll go for that kind of third hangar. But I figured instead of doing that, let's slowly build up that Asia Pacific region. Maybe did it a bit too early, could have done it towards the end of the month, but that's a mill uh, already gone here. Once we are more established here, I think we can simply use it in order to to just deploy a couple of um, a couple of uh, fighters, and then we're hunting down UFOs. That's what I wanted to do to begin with, uh, to give us essentially more missions. So, almost thinking whether or not we want to have like three jets located here. And then we'll always use our, our proper crew from the first base in order to get there. Listen, I mean, this is way further than I've played the game ever, so I don't have the perfect idea as of what the game expects us to do. 
naturally I think a bit of expansion and just reducing alien activity would be a good idea that's where I'm coming from whether or not our 14 soldiers will be good enough in order to do that I don't know but we do theoretically have the option to hire more soldiers so on that maybe as a last note do we have further recruits that are outstanding or are we working with the same recruiting pool this one here doesn't look bad this one here looks fantastic and this one here looks good as well Okay, and I think our living quarters capacity, storage room. No, we need to upgrade living quarters anyways. Two fifty. Yeah, I can't afford it now, but maybe later in the month, putting in that extra living uh, capacity. <clears throat> might also set us up for a proper uh, further research center that we need to build for more <clears throat> scientists. So yeah, there were a couple of really good uh, new soldiers there. Just fantastic base stats. Good. Training rate five, um, training efficiency measures, the efficiency of the soldiers training as base. Training is efficiency of 100%. Each soldier gains the full, num full number of progress points. Uh, this value is calculated based on the amount of training's capacity. Increased training's capacity. Okay. Training rate is the amount of progress point. Each soldier stationed in the base will gain each of their attributes every hour if they are stationed at the base. The rate of progress will increase as we gain more knowledge about extraterrestrial fo uh, foes. Okay. Okay, well, that, I think, makes sense. Getting a little, more, little bit more defense will also make sense. I think three should be fine. Laser batteries, I don't know how big UFOs are, but I don't want to essentially be shut down uh, in my own base. Okay, overall, all good in the hood. Uh, we are next time going to do the terror mission for now. This is the end of the road. Thank you for watching and see you in the next episode. Bye bye guys.